Okay, we completed the SQL Server Failover Cluster installation. Go and refresh the cluster. As you can see, the SQL Server resource group has been added. And this is the SQL Server network name. Clients will connect to the SQL Server using this network name. And uh, this is the IP address that resolves to this network name. Okay. Here are the two drives that it uses and other dependencies. So you can take a look at the dependency report. IP address depends on sorry the network name depends on the IP address. Okay, the agent depends on SQL Server. You can see all the dependency report here. Okay, look and you so here is the dependency diagram. As you can see, SQL Server agent depends on SQL Server. And uh, SQL Server depends on many things. Network name, cluster disk 1 and disk 2. And network name depends on the IP address. OK. Now, let us Okay, this is not uh, a completely uh, clustered uh, failover high availability setup. We have just installed the SQL Server on one node. Still, we need to go to the other node and install the SQL Server there. Okay, then only it, you will see the real failover happening. So, for time being, let's go and connect to the SQL Server from Management Studio. Okay, as you can see, which node is servicing this resource group? At present, we install SQL Server on node 1, so obviously node 1 should be the owner of that. So you can click right, right click on the SQL Server instance and uh, Cell properties. You will see the preferred owners and all other properties set up here. Okay, okay. The management studio is up. You can connect to the failover cluster. Okay, we successfully connected to the SQL Server cluster and we can browse some data. Okay, now if we go and ping the SQL Server cluster, it should resolve to that IP. Okay, ping dev SQL CLU, this cluster network name, then it will resolve to the IP address. Okay. Now we need to go to the node 2 and install the SQL Server there. Okay, let's go to the node 2. And 
we copied the SQL Server software onto the node 1. So we can say node 1 slash C drive SQL software double click that setup click installation and here we need to select add node to a SQL Server failover cluster because we are adding this node to the existing failover cluster then you will see this node in the possible owners list for that existing cluster whatever the cluster we are going to add Click OK. Click Next. Okay, everything seems to be fine. Click next. Here we need to specify which instance we are going to add this node. Okay, currently this is the only instance available. So click next. Here for the cluster, whatever the uh, services that are cluster aware that are installed in that resource group, we can only select that options. We, we cannot add any other uh, services to that. So here all we can do is just enter the, give the password and click next. Click next. Next. Install. Okay, the installation will take some time. I will pause the video here and I will resume after the installation.